Hello there, Bethel Baptist Church. So glad that you can join me here this morning. And uh, we're kind of a different place, different setting today at the beautiful J.F. Gregory Park. And I uh, love this place and uh, come here often. I would say this is probably one of my happy places, you know, whenever you need to kind of get away and get to somewhere beautiful, some place, um, you know, you can think or meditate or come exercise, whatever it may be. Um, but it's just beautiful. And uh, so often we find ourselves kind of in a need of a place like this, uh, you know, when we're busy at work and uh, maybe busy with the family, busy, you know, at church, wherever it may be. Sometimes we just find ourselves where we need to kind of get away. And uh, so often in our situation, uh, in our community, in our country, uh, we find that uh, just a lot of chaos and just a lot of turmoil. And you come to a place like this and you see God's hand of beauty. And you see the trees and you see the grass, you see the, you know, the creek running uh, here and just just how God has just uh, made all these beautiful things for us. And uh, so often I need to come to a place like this and refresh. And we find the same thing uh, with the disciples in Mark chapter six. And I want to share that with you this morning. I believe all of us need to to find a, a place like this um, that Jesus refers to in Mark chapter 6. He tells his disciples in verse number 31, he says, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while, for there are many comings and goings, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And so he gives the disciples a principle. And he says, guys, you've been so busy and you're, you're going and you're coming and there's so much going on um, in your life right now. You need, to, you need to step away. You need to depart. And so he gives us a principle. And I believe it's so very important for all of us um, to, to have that in our lives as well. Whenever we're looking at the phone, we're looking at the news, we're, you know, we're so um, bothered or distressed, we need to depart. So he gives us this principle. And I love it that Jesus not only tells his disciples, hey, I want you to depart, but he also demonstrates it in verse 46 of Mark 6. He says this, And when he had sent them away, he departed. So not only did the disciples depart, but Jesus himself also showed us by example. Hey, he also departed. And I want to encourage you today. Maybe you're at a place where you're, you're a little stressed out. Uh, maybe the boss is on your back or maybe the kids are driving you nuts at home. Uh, I want to encourage you find a place. Find a place where you can go. You know, he told the disciples, hey, I want you to go into the desert. But he himself, Jesus speaking in verse number 46, says this, he departed into a mountain. And so it doesn't matter the place. It doesn't matter. Maybe it might be your front porch. Maybe it might be, um, you know, a walk, uh, you know, in your neighborhood, wherever it may be. But I believe he says, hey, you can go from the desert or you can go to the mountain, but wherever you need to find that place. And my wife and I, we just celebrated 20 years of marriage and uh, we kind of got away, had opportunity to depart and uh, to just to enjoy. We went up to the mountains and saw God's beautiful handiwork there. And, uh, you know, we, we just enjoyed it. We didn't think about the news. We didn't think about what's going on, the crisis uh, that we have in our country. We didn't think about the pandemic. We didn't think of anything other than ourselves. We thought about, you know, each other and enjoying each other, enjoying God's creation and climbed up a mountain. And we looked out, you know, over the, the overlook and just saw God's beauty once again. And you know what? There's a purpose for that. And there was a purpose for God telling his disciples, hey, I want you to depart. I want you to go rest. I want you to go out into the desert. There was a purpose for that uh, because they were tired. They needed to refocus. And uh, Jesus, same thing in Mark chapter six. He says this, and he went up into, he departed into the mountain. Why? To pray. And so I want to encourage you, find your happy place. Just like this is my happy place here. Find somewhere, some place, some closet that you can go and you can separate and depart so you can refocus. Refocus on the Lord to, to pray. Spend some time praying. Spend some time in relaxation. Spend some time focusing on something other than what you see on the news or other than you see on your, on your phone. And uh, so I want to encourage you. Find, find a place where you can depart and you can rest and you can kind of refocus on what God wants you to refocus on. And that's always going to be Him. All right, church family, thank you so much for joining us here at J.F. Gregory Park. Hope you have a wonderful day.